So this is the way to program a laptop BIOS. Today I will be reflashing a windband BIOS from an Asus laptop. So my programmer CH341 is inserted on the laptop USB port. So we just need to install the driver of CH341 programmer and make sure that it's working and put the correct placement of the IC on the programming chip so this one pin 1 is marked with dot on the IC the pin 1 is marked 1 on the board so you have to insert it depending on the type of the BIOS to the zip socket so let's check if this uh, will work so let's detect the BIOS chip and read the files then make a backup before we write the BIOS from the manufacturer so so as we can see we have detected the correct type of BIOS so what we just need to do now is to read the content of the BIOS file and make a backup so click on read and the progress bar will indicate if the readout is successful once done we have to save the file to make sure that we still have the correct backup in case of we need to restore the original file to the BIOS so as we can see it's reading currently now at 41% so we just have to wait for that and save the file I'm just using a camera which is from my phone so pardon for a little bit shaky video so we are at 86% then we have to save this okay we have read the complete backup we just need to save this and we have to put a file name x511ca backup then save it's a bin file so what we need to do now is to find the BIOS that came from the manufacturer. It's on my PC. Storage. This one. As we can see, we have the same chip version and the bin file. So I need to open it. Let's erase this file from the BIOS. Okay, we have erased the file. Let's blank it. So as we can see we have progress on the bottom of the screen.
So as we can see, the indicator light wants reading and writing or erasing the file. The two lights indicator on the programmer will light. If it's done, it would stop. So as we can see here. So let's redetect. Let's close it, exit, then reopen, detect the flash file as we can see it's empty now. Then we have to open the bin file, then program, program it on the BIOS chip by clicking program. As we can see, we have progress indicator at the bottom of the screen. Our programmer turn on again. It's writing. Once this is complete, then we are ready to put back the BIOS chip to the laptop motherboard. So that's how you program a BIOS chip using the CH341. BIOS programmer so we just have to wait until this is complete then I will be removing the BIOS programmer on my laptop then put the BIOS chip on the motherboard and check if my motherboard will be restored so that's it I hope somehow it helps you in fixing your laptop problems once you experience a laptop which doesn't boot but the light indicators are turning on most probably most of the time it's BIOS problem so this is about 77% once done uh, I'm going to stop the recording and remove the BIOS chip. We are at 89% now. So that's done, 100%. So I'm be, I will be closing this exit. Let's check the programmer on the device manager if the correct BIOS oops it's here driver is loaded we have As we can see on the screen, we have USB EPP I2C CH341. We have the correct drivers loaded for the CH341 programmer. So you just need to load the USB driver for the CH341 and download the programming software. Then it's ready for use. So that's it. I hope it helps you somehow in programming your BIOS. Thank you for watching.